going on guys jordan for flyers here and i am bringing you episode number three of the pokemon diamond randomizer nuzlocke in the previous part we lost the lock <laughs> so you might be wondering why there's an episode three well to explain we've got past jordan uh i did a little bit yesterday of uh playing through the beginning of the game again and, uh, I have a completely new rum. I re-randomized all the same things. I just now have a whole different set of randomizations. Or, like, randomized things, not the randomized things. Anyways, we're gonna go to the past. Blast to the past. Jordan, tell them what we're up to. What's going on, guys? Jordan here. Bringing you guys... The new and improved version of the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. And we are here again with a brand new randomized ROM. That means we're getting new starters right now. So, once again, in the Turtwig spot, we have... Execute. Okay. That's pretty cool. I've never used Executor before. That's actually pretty cool. In the Chimchar spot, we have... <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my! Um, whoa! <laughs> um, oh. and in the Piplup spot, we have... Nuzleaf. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> I don't want to lose the lock again. But I still don't want to make it easy on myself, damn it. Okay, just saying this right now, Nuzleaf is off the table, because I've also very recently used a shift tree in uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. Um, I really want to use Execute. Of course, the problem there is I'm then tasked to find a Leaf Stone. Which I also might not want to do. Screw it, I'm not losing a lock again. Groudon it is! <laughs> Fun fact, Groudon's starting moves are Mudshot and Scary Face. You can't damage a Starly with that. <laughs> um, so I blacked out when I tried to use Groudon, and then the game slightly crashed. So we're going to go with Execute this time. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, it is what it is. You know, I... I have an execute. I said that I wanted the execute, so we now have the execute. What does it have? Uproar. At least that's something. And barrage, I guess. Oh, hey. <laughs> There's that neat areno that I was mentioning getting as the Route 201 map to Starly. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> and a different useless berry. Great. Okay, now it is time to nickname the Execute. I probably should have been thinking about this as I was playing, but I didn't. So we're going to nickname it as if it was an Executor, just so it makes sense later rather than now. Um... Uh, whoops, um, there we go, Totem, I don't know, Executor's heads kind of remind me of a totem, 
but I decided to be stupid and spell it Totem. Sure, I'm happy. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing ghosts now. Ew. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. I have Pokeballs now. It's time to go get some encounters. The encounters I've gotten up until now do not count because, you know, no Pokeballs. Okay, starting with Lake Verity this time instead of Route 201. Maybe that will turn things around. <laughs> uh, it probably won't. Come on, why is it so hard to encounter things here? There we go. Lake Verity is crabby. Okay, that's, um, that's cool. I mean, Krabby and Kingler's physical attack is phenomenal, so, yeah, I'm down. Oh, I love that I have Hypnosis. That is awesome. I forgot to buy more Pokeballs, so I have five chances at this. So, I'm gonna wanna damage it. Okay, you can stop hitting him with barrages any time now. The Totem! Stop! God damn it! Urgh! Why? Okay, and our encounter for Route 201 is... Oh yes! Skarmory! I love freaking Skarmory. All right, let's do this. Oh shit, ow. Um, okay, we're putting you to sleep now. And first Pokeball, let's do this. Maybe, one. Yeah, I know Skarmory's catch rate is low. I think it's the same as like Mew and starters. I don't know what else. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna try and get it into red health. Watch this hit five times again. Actually, might even take three or four. Come on. Don't kill it. Thank you. Okay, and it's still sleeping. This is now my chance. Come on, me. Get the thing. It is not even shaking. Okay, I have two shots left, so... Let's apparently miss the first one, and then probably miss the second one as well. And then we'll all be okay. Stop leering me. I'm just gonna throw the ball and... Then at least I have a better chance to run away, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna have to run. God damn it, I wanted a Skarmory. Yeah, he has leered me way too much. I need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, and that is encounter number two squandered. Great. Okay, and our Route 202 encounter is gonna be... Oh, Hitmonlee. Cool. Definitely never used a Hitmonlee before. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get this thing. Okay. Watch this hit five times. Just watch. It's gonna happen. It's one hundred percent gonna happen. One. Oh, yep. Yeah, here, here it comes. Two. Here, oh, yep, yeah, keep on going. Three. Here comes four. Nope. All right, good. 
This is probably best chance to do the thing, so... I'm feeling a lot more confident catching this thing than I did with frickin' uh, Skarmory. Why can I not catch things in one Pokeball? Why is that impossible? At least he's staying asleep. Come on, Hitmonlee. I'm sick of failing encounters. <laughs> Do it. Do it good. Yeah, there we go. About damn time. <laughs> I realize I'm nicknaming this after the complete wrong thing of the two of them between Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, because I know Hitmonchan's supposed to be named after Jackie Chan. I'm just calling it Jackie anyways. Jackie the Hitmonlee. All right. I'm done sparse. Hi again, Dunsparce. Ooh, Drift Blim. Cool. Magby. Cute. Alright, and this brings an end to the beginning of Game Again montage. Back to you, Jordan! Thank you, Past Jordan! So, as I explained, we have a new ROM, and with that comes a new team. We're gonna hop right into our team recap. We have... Totem the Execute. I leveled them up to level 6, by the way, not level 5, so maybe that will help. Uh, we have Totem. He is Gentle Nature, which is increased special defense, decreased physical defense. That's not horrible, I suppose. It could be better, but whatever. Uh, and we have Barrage, Uproar, and Hypnosis. And the thing about that is, uh, actually just this morning, I watched the finale of Super Baby Mario's playthrough of Pokemon Red. And, uh, of course, one of the champion, aka the rival's Pokemon, is Executor. And, uh, Nick made the comment that, um, in Generation 1, Executor and obviously Execute are the only Pokemon that know Barrage. I actually looked it up. And even up until Generation 7, Execute and Executor, and Alolan Executor, are still the only Pokemon that can learn Barrage. I, as far as I could see, like, no one could even learn it, like, through egg moves or anything like that. Uh, future me will confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. So that's kind of cool. So we have Barrage, Uproar... And Hypnosis. I'm only just now realizing Uproar is not base 90 power anymore, but whatever. And of course, our other team member, we have Jackie the Hitmon Lee. Got a nice solid fighting type. He is Lax Nature. Isn't that the opposite of Gentle? Isn't it increased phys physical defense and decreased special defense? I also believe that to be true. Anyways, um... Oh yeah, by the way, Chlorophyll and Reckless. Uh, and he has Revenge, Double Kick, and he now has Meditate as well. So, if this train is Pokemon as a flying type, I'm screwed. <laughs> but you know what? I am down for some revenge right now. Let's do this, bitch. Uh, by the way, another uh, little bit about the ROM. I tried changing one thing in the emulation settings, and hopefully that will help a bit. I can already tell that it has helped substantially. Also, that's a Surskit, so we're gonna murder this thing. Uh, not with Execute, because if I die to a Surskit, I'm not living that down. <laughs> but yeah, a bug move would hurt on Execute. So, Bubble. Okay, that's good. Guys, we're going to be able to beat a trainer, maybe. Why did that do so much? Alright, well, anyways, I do also have, um... I think I still have all four of my potions 
there if I need them. So, also this thing's only going to take two double kicks. So, you know what? I think we're actually going to get through a trainer battle, guys. <laughs> Are you proud of me? The Surskit is going down. And we have beaten this annoying child. Yay! First trainer battle down. Alright. I'm feeling better about myself now. And you know what? I... I said I kind of liked the uh, the team that I had in the last couple episodes of two rock types and a nice type, and then before that having Chansey as well. But you know what? There's something right now about having Execute and Hitmon only. I mean, Gen 1 power, first of all. Hell yeah. Um, but you know what? I'm... I foresee good things with these two. Of course, the major problem that I foresee having is being able to find a- Oh, shit! Of course there's a Pidgeot. Why wouldn't there be? You're going to sleep. Good night. <laughs> um, of course, the, the uh, major problem I see in the future is me not being able to find a Leaf Stone for Execute. So we might have an Execute for a while. I sincerely hope we don't, but it's a thing that could happen. Uh, I'm just kind of curious as to how much Barrage will do. Um, okay, I might want to try Uproar, actually. <sighs> See, I am not a fan at all of moves that lock you into multiple turns, but you know what? Uproar isn't a horrible move, I guess. Quick Attack. Uh, I know in later generations it's uh, boosted to base 90 attack power, or like special attack power, rather. Um, and I do remember breeding Uproar onto something for competitive reasons, but I actually believe it was a Mega Pidgeot, now that I think about it. <laughs> um... But yeah, I don't foresee me keeping uproar for long. That's a lot of experience. Uh, Slowpoke. Okay, I might actually just stay in. I don't want to catch a psychic move from this thing. Um, I know I just mentioned that I watched the finale of Nick's playthrough of Pokemon Red. Nick, by now you should know that Nick is Super Baby Mario. I'm just... I call them by both names sometimes. Uh, I do have to admit right now that is the only episode of this playthrough of Pokemon Red that I saw. Thanks, Critical Hit. Uh, because I'm actually... A, I really do not like the first two generations of Pokemon. People praise them all the time just because of their originality. Because, you know, at the time, no one knew what the hell Pokemon was. And then the games came out and they're like, wow, this is incredible. And oh my god! Oh my god! Oh boy! That's... Oh. <laughs> it's the one Pokemon that isn't legendary that gets its own music still. Okay. Um. Well. Bye, Rodom. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, I'm not a huge fan of the first two generations of Pokemon, mostly because, I mean, I can also make the argument now that because, you know, Pokemon games have such amazing graphics these days that I could complain that the graphics back then weren't really up to my standards, because I never really started playing Pokemon until Generation 4. Um, but... The major reason I hate the first two generations of Pokemon, and in a way the third generation, I know I just played Pokemon Fire Red on the channel, but nevertheless I'm not a huge fan because of the severely broken mechanics. Um, again, not so much in Generation 3, I'm more so talking about in Generation 1 and 2, with the whole thing with um, Physical attacks versus special attacks being based on the type of move and not the move itself. I'm so incredibly glad that they fixed that in Generation 4 and that's the generation that I started with. Um, 
But yeah, like, going back in time and seeing, like, Pokemon absolutely rape with Hyper Beam because it's a physical move in that game, it... That completely takes away from it for me. So, what's up, Jackie? <laughs> so, um, like, I do remember as a kid playing through... I don't remember if it was Red or Fire Red. I'm pretty sure actually it was Fire Red. I do remember at some point, though, playing one of the first generation games. And... I... The game is relentlessly hard at times, too. Like, I do remember that uh, Sabrina's Psychic Gym is just insane. Uh, Lance, the Elite Four member, is so incredibly unfair. Unless you have, like, a really good Ice type, which there aren't many of. So, you know... That's something I can really really appreciate about the Pokemon games as they grow and mature and, you know, expand into different regions and whatnot, is that they just keep adding more and more Pokemon, and they fix the problem of having very few Pokemon of one type. That's actually something I really love about Generation 5, because up until that point, you can't really think of much diversity when it comes to ghost types. And then in Generation 5, all of a sudden... Oh, hi, Nick. In Generation 5, all of a sudden, you have a ground ghost type. You have a fire ghost type. You have a water ghost type. And then, of course, in Generation 6, you gain the grass ghost types. So, you can tell as time goes on, they realized, oh, hey, you know, these are types in the game. We should probably expand on them more. So... That's another major issue that I have with at least the first generation of games. Uh, just because there's only one family of ghost types, there's only one family of dragon types. And of course, at that point, uh, Steel, Dark, and Fairy didn't exist. On top of many, many other things. <laughs> uh, what's up, Yanma? You can actually hurt me. I'm not a fan of this. Um, I just realized something Yanma might have. Oh, this might be bad. I don't think I should have switched out, actually. Okay. Oh, speed boost. That's good. Um, I just realized this Yanma might actually have Sonic Boom. I ain't looking forward to that. I'm gonna use Revenge. I'm, I'm well aware that this is quad-resisted, but... Man, I really should not have switched out. <laughs> I was just thinking bug weakness on Execute versus the lesser scary flying weakness on Hitmonlee. I am actually going to switch back into Execute now, though. So, yeah, I, I, I do kind of have a little bit of hatred towards the first couple generations of Pokemon... Just because, you know, there were a lot of game mechanics that they couldn't fix back then that they, that they do have fixed now. Nevertheless, like, don't get me wrong. I do see the originality of them. Don't, don't get me wrong. The originality of the first generation of Pokemon games absolutely shines through. It's just, I... I see it as something else now because there's so many other generations of Pokemon to play, and it's so new and improved now these days, that I'm amazed that the first couple generations of Pokemon games, especially Gold and Silver, because, you know, you play through the first generation again in those games. Uh, but it does kind of amaze me just how much praise those games still get today, considering we have games now like Pokemon Sun and Moon and even the couple generations before that, that are just so well put together. So, oh, I forgot Uproar worked that way. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Oh, well, this Yanma should still go down as long as it doesn't surprise bug move me. Oh, does Uproar do double damage if he's sleeping? Is that how it works? 
I actually never knew that. Okay, cool. Okay, well, still, this thing is going to die this turn. Okay. I'm so super glad that this thing didn't have Sonic Boom. The reason I mentioned Sonic Boom is because in my other randomized file of Pokemon Diamond uh, that I'm playing through, just kind of testing the waters to see, you know, if this series would work. <laughs> uh, but the first gym leader, actually, his ace was Yan Mega, and it had Sonic Boom, and it absolutely could have made me lose the Nuzlocke that I was doing. But, uh... It decided to be merciful and let my entire team live somehow. <laughs> so, I am very thankful to the Yon Megas in this world. <laughs> okay, we're just going to take on this other trainer in the school. Um, and then we're going to get a thing. BRB. What's up, kid? You give me things. Yes, I can battle you. Please don't have a ho -o. <laughs> Oh, could you imagine? Dust Ox. Okay, that's that's decent. I shouldn't have problems with this unless it has some weirdly strong flying move. Like, it, I don't know, Air Slash or something. It should die, though. Confusion? Doink. That ain't doing nothing. You have done literally one damage to me. Go to sleep. <laughs> So note to self, Uproar apparently does double damage now. Um, I'm still gonna barrage, because I don't want to wake it up yet. I want to get some damage on it first. Time to Uproar! Blah, 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 blah. Are you dead? Oh, what? That did nothing! God damn it. Well, I should still be fine. It seems all this thing has is confusion. At least, so far. So... We're fine. Get out of here, Dust Ox. See, that did more damage, so I'm absolutely wrong. It doesn't do double damage, it just wakes them up, period. Okay. I don't know why it did so much damage with that first hit with the other thing that I already forget what it was. Whatever. We winning. And it is time. First of all, to level up. And it is now time to get our first TM of the game. By the way, this TM is normally hidden power. Um, what I was about to say is that it should be compatible with anything, but I forgot at that moment that I had randomized it to be randomly compatible. But we have TM10. We're going to have to take a look and see what it is. Oh yeah, and that's something I'm not a huge fan of in this generation that I'm kind of glad they fixed later in that TMs and HMs are one move or one use only. I guess I understand what they were going for. Pin missile. Okay. Well, can Executor Hitmonlee learn this? Nope. <laughs> See, like pin missile for either Execute or Hitmonlee is a 25% chance of them being able to learn it. Uh, for reasons that I have already explained, so I'm not going to go over that again. What's up, Mr. Poketch man? We're finally going to have an interesting bottom screen. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's still just the bottom screen. It's not going to be overly interesting. Uh, pfft, I'm not talking to you again. Blurg. <laughs> By the way, all the answers to the clowns are going to be yes. Hi, I'm a clown. Can you tell by my nose? Yes! <laughs> Alright. One down. I'm just saying... This part with the stupid poke -etch coupons with the clowns, what is the point of it? Besides you learning three very basic mechanics? Hi, I'm a clown! Can you tell by my weird freaking hat? Yes! <laughs> Oh, these... You know, I can't believe there was a time where clowns were actually considered to be, like, happy human beings just trying to bring joy to the world. And then scary movies with clowns happened, and we all got to see 
the horror that clowns brought? Hi, I'm a clown. Can you tell by my scarily made up face? Yes! <laughs> okay, getting our final Poke Edge coupon. And we will zoom right over to um, Mr. Poke Edge Man. I forget what he refers to himself as. I think just president of the Poke Edge Company. I think that's all he calls himself. Let me count your coupons. Bravo, you can count to three. <laughs> and there's the bottom screen. Okay, so we have a very limited amount of apps for now. I am actually going to switch it right now. Uh, let's put it to that. That's what I usually keep it to on my other file. Just, you know, to remind myself, hey, my Pokemon are happy and healthy. Okay, so I'm going to do one final thing in this episode, and that is just over this way on the way to Route 218. I'm not actually going to Route 218 because that is a much later thing to do. But this man right here is going to give you an old rod. We can get a few more encounters now. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, oh, damn it, I meant to say no. No, no, no. Exclamation mark. No, stop talking to me. No. Get. He talks to you more when you say no. Grr. <laughs> okay. That is going to be the end of episode three. The restart of uh, <laughs> Pokemon Diamond. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm glad to finally get the series back up and running after my failure last episode. We have a strong team of two, and in the next episode, I sincerely hope we are going to build on that team with a few more encounters. So thank you guys for watching. Let's have more fun next time!